Hi guys, uh, finally back. Uh, got a few things done. My little chalets that I was making, I finally got them blocked. It took me forever to get on these. Uh, and I haven't done my tassels yet, but I put my little roughly thing I do around the outside and I did get them blocked. I ain't got my tassels on yet. There's that one. It's got the peach on it. And this one is got a lot of the same colors, but instead of the peachy color, it's got lavender. See, it's got lavender over here a lot. Then it even has a little over here. So that won't be nice if I'm wearing mint green or lavender. It has a little bit of the yellow too, but I went around it with the mint green because that's what I had a bunch extra left over of was the mint green and the yellow. So I wanted to show you those first so I could take it off. <laughs> They're really soft since I uh, blocked them. Now these were done with mandelas. Uh, mandelas I had for a while. I don't even know if they're making these color combinations anymore. And I didn't bring them all in here, but my squares, I got my lavender out. And I've been trying to make as many as I could and be being very frugal with the little ends that I cut off of the lavender. The pink I can get all day, every day, and the and the green. That's the frosty. Frosty Green from Red Heart. I, I love it. I just love it. But anyway, I either did six or eight the first time. I'm thinking it was eight. And I got those done. And I thought, well, I'll make four more. I got those done. And then I did two more. And I'm thinking I might be able to do two more. Then I got to get them counted. I haven't counted them yet. Oh, I'll show you these real quick. I'm also about to finish... my uh, fifth pair of socks. I didn't know if I was going to like this color or not. <laughs> I knew I liked it better than some of the other ones. Oh, and this was on sale when I got it. It was like buy one, get one free is what it was. And I was like, man, I'm going to go back and buy all the different colors, even if I don't like them. <laughs> but yeah, there, there it is. There's my heels, my flegal heels. Uh, and I'm on the... Uh, not ripples, uh, the ridges for the bands, top of the socks. Yeah, I'm on the, about to finish them off, and then I'll do Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off. That's the one I've been doing. Whoops. So, yeah, I'm on my last, my fifth pair of socks. And, well, maybe I'll show you these first. I got two more baby afghans done. Um, you know how I did the ones, and... They weren't white. Well, I got two done that are white. So I did her uh, Pope Squares. Wow, really looks pretty in there. And then the back, the back's kind of cute too. But, you know, love the front, love the hearts. That's Tina's Hope Squares. Okay. So, more for a baby boy, since I have so many baby Afghans that would be for a girl. I wanted to have some that definitely could be for a boy. Put a double ruffle on this one of my little ruffle. See, it's mint green. Yeah, mint green all the way around and then just the white on the the back just a little my little double ruffle but there we go definitely one for a boy I gotta get a bunch more baby boy Afghans done I think when I do the Winnie the Pooh that'll be for a boy I'm gonna do Try to get a couple of my Mario and Yoshi's done for a, a boy. That'd be for a boy because I use the light blue on all the background for the sky and stuff. But anyway, 
I don't know how many of you may have seen her. She's got all these flipping adorable little animals, all kinds of them. So, I'm making two. I think I got all the pieces done for the second one, but the first one I finally got. Man, I'm telling you what, I thought I would sew her together just like that. I was on her for a couple of hours the other day. So there she is. And like I said, I got all the pieces for the second one. I might have to make an arm, I think, but these little arms are really quick. Those are really quick. But yeah, this is for my two youngest baby girls. Uh, I'm going to make their flowers different. I'm going to flip the other flower. So they'll know whose is whose. They won't fight over it. But, this lady made a bunch of other stuff. No, oh, hold on, I wanted to show you. Dang it. And y'all have probably seen some of them. Um, Pamela, at pretty sure her channel is Pamela's Knit and Crochet Corner. She, she just, oh, I want to make this one too. Well, good grief, we got commercial. She just did the lamb, and the lamb is so adorable. Let me wait for her to turn it around. It looks all fluffy. There we go. There's the lamb. Hope you can see her good. The lamb is adorable. Uh, but she has a one that has... I don't know if you can see the little ones. There's the, uh, that's the top of the, see that, that's the top of the head. I think that one's the, the sunflower. She's got a little clown. She went back on. And, why'd you go to Google search? I wasn't going there. Oh, and then she's got the succulents one. Look at that. Its head is leaves. And then she's got one that's uh, a rose. Isn't that adorable? I want to make them all. And there's the uh, uh, daisy. There's See, there's the uh, top of the head over here. And then, isn't that adorable? <gasps> and then there's another one. I just she got a butterfly and the cactus. Isn't the cactus cute? And then I love the toad. Look, isn't that cute? I might make toad next. Well, I'm calling it Toad because Mario, you know. <laughs> but those are so adorable. And then she's got like, uh, I think she's got teddy bears, giraffe, elephant, the bunny. Uh, I think she might have chicken and a duck. She's got all kinds of, of little animals like the, the bunny. And, and, but I want to make, I want to make the daisy. I want to make the lamb. I want to make the succulents. I want to make the toad for sure, and I want to make the cactus. It's so cute. And, uh, was that it? I think that was it. I think you showed you everything. Yeah, I, that's, these two are for my baby girls. I went ahead and made two of these. But if I make all those others, she had now, I think, 8 inch, and I think she used smaller cotton. She used cotton, and it might have been smaller than my yarn. I'm not sure. But anyway, she used like eight inch millimeter safety eyes, I think they were. But I had these in there. You know, the ones you, the eyes move around in there. I had a bunch of those in the drawer. I bought them once for something and then never used them for that. So I had a bunch of them. So uh, that's it. I, I got to get these counted. I may have to make it a little smaller than, uh, I was thinking, I was thinking six by eight make it a 40, 48 squares. I don't think I'm gonna to get to 48, so I can do six by six and then go around it, you know, with the white a bunch of times and then put a little pink border on it or something. But yeah, I gotta get them counted and see what I got. I don't think I've made it to the 48, but I might've gotten close, we'll see. So yeah, I got my little shawlettes done. <laughs> they are blocked.
They're soft. They're so soft. See, I'm not used to blocking stuff. I didn't even know about blocking until I started watching YouTube a couple of years ago. And I'm about to finish my fifth pair of socks. I did something wrong on it. I knew I should have pulled my lady up that I watch. I think her hers is uh, Happy Knits. And uh, she was so easy to follow. And she showed you how to do the Flegal Hill. And the Flegal Hill for a beginner, it's perfect. So easy. And uh, I should have pulled her up and checked it out again. And I thought, no, 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 I got this. Well, when I started increasing for the Flegal Hill, I forgot... You, you increase for the Flegal Hill, but then you go around the front, and you, and you don't increase on it, of course. Well, I increased a few times. I think they'll probably fit fine, I think. I think it's probably not going to be noticeable, so. Uh, shoot, did, I don't even know if you've seen that lady's uh, name. Let me get her up again and show you. Oh, and she's the one, if y'all watch Pamela's, Pamela's Knit and Crochet Corner. She actually had somebody pull her up uh, or make her the ladybug. You've probably seen the ladybug. Anyway, there's her name. If you can see it. She's the one that did all those really cute little amigurumis, succulents, flowers. See, there's a monkey. Um... Uh, Or something else. Oh, the ladybug. The ladybug's so cute. You, you've got... Oh, she did one of the baby Yodas. <laughs> and she does a couple of different bunnies, too. But you need to see the ladybug. A lot of you have probably seen it. There's the daisy, the butterfly, the cactus. The cactus is so cute. And the toad. There's, there's the ladybug. Isn't she flipping adorable? Anyway, Pamela... Oh, and there's Harry Potter. That's the, that's the only one of the Harry Potter gang she's done is him, but she did a really cute job. But anyway, that ladybug is so cute. Do you see the wings? I hope you can see that. The wings are red with a little bit of black dots on them. I don't think you can hardly see it. But anyway, that's her name. If y'all want to pull her up and do a few of her amigurumis, they are so cute. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do some more for my girls, my two youngest girls. And uh, I guess that's it. I'll uh, get these get these counted in the next few days and see what I'm going to put together. Maybe I'll put it together and have a few left and make a couple of pillows or something. We'll see, but uh, glad I finally got to get back on here and Show you what I was doing. I know it's been a while. And like, I was working on that little bunny the other day. I thought, I'm gonna go ahead and whip that together real quick. I was on it for hours. I was like, oh my gosh, can't believe it took this long. Yeah, I started working on that pair of socks a couple days, day four yesterday, I think. Been working on the pair of socks for a couple days. So, I'll try to get on quicker next time. Like I said, I'm gonna be making some of those amigurumis of hers. They're so cute. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.